I can't believe we are a few days away from 2024. It felt like the start of 2023 was just yesterday. And with 2024 just right around the corner, it is time to wrap up the best trends in the world of fashion this year. A quick disclaimer, all the things that I will talk about in this video are mere opinions from the perspective of a fashion enthusiast like myself. And if at any point I made an incorrect claim over something, I will stand corrected and let me know in the comments below. Let's gladly and politely agree to disagree. Now let's talk about 2023's fashion trends. Starting off with the Adidas Samba, a sneaker already beloved by many and still getting more love and interest this 2023. The Samba has reigned supreme and has dominated the sneaker world for being on the feet of many. Despite looking very basic and simple, I think its simplicity is its strongest facet. In fact, it is so basic that it just goes well with anything, making it an easy option with any outfit. Another factor that makes the Samba appealing to many is accessibility. This shoe is widely and generally available to everyone everywhere. Not to mention affordability which allows the Samba to be even more accessible and attractive to many. Another strong indication of the Samba dominating the space is its collaborations with fashion's biggest players such as Wales Bonner and Jound, just to name a few. This type of collaboration has contributed to making the Samba the it and must have shoe for everyone in 2023. And with this type of love and attention directed to the Samba, the Samba is not slowing down anytime soon in popularity in my opinion. It is indeed headed to the right direction in 2024, becoming a staple sneaker in everyone's wardrobe. A few honorary mentions that got the same love from the Three Stripes brand are Adidas Superstars, Gazelles, and Speziales. In my opinion, the love on these shoes is a ripple effect from the influence and impact of the Samba. It's not to say that the three aforementioned shoes are not great in their own right, but rather the Samba effect has trickled down to the said shoes, giving it the spotlight and attention it deserves. Another shoe this year that has gotten some love and attention is the Mexico 66. This is honestly the shoe that I have been seeing for years but never thought I would get myself. With that, I have to give the credit and big shout out to Drew Joyner for putting me on these shoes and in the same colorway as his. Like the Adidas Samba, the Mexico 66 shares the same low and slim profile look as the Samba making it an alternative to the Sambas. And moving on to runners, the first on the list is definitely Nike Vomero 5. Out of all the releases Nike has made this year, the Vomero 5 has really caught the eyes of many. This is of course besides the regular Nike Dunks and Travis Scott collaborations. With the 2000s fashion aesthetic still definitely profound in 2023, the Vomero 5 definitely nailed that look and feel. Not to mention, the technical and functional aspect of the shoes made it really more appealing. Definitely a very comfortable shoe. Though a little on the pricey side, the Vomero 5 has a sibling that resembles its look and feel, the Nike P6000. Check out the video I made comparing the two. And an honorary mention to yet another amazing technical runner this year that is beloved by many is the A6 Gel Keanu 14. Definitely an amazing looking shoe with top-notch comfort. The A6 Gel 1130 also deserves a mention as this is a great alternative and resembles the look, feel, and comfort of the Cayano 14 with a cheaper price tag. And just like the A6 Gel 1130, we cannot forget about the New Balance 530 that received a lot of love this year. The 530s are definitely a great option that is in the same price range as the 1130s. A perfect everyday shoe. Loafers are around for ages, but this year it felt like more people are compelled to include loafers in their rotation. I personally feel the shift towards wearing loafers more is the idea of having a more elevated look and style without really trying hard. Gone are the days of super flashy outfits and now people tend to lean towards to a more minimalist approach in styling, hence loafers. And I think this trend will continue in the next year or so with people maturing in their taste and fashion which I think is a nice and refreshing thing to see. 
This year is no different than 2022 when it comes to the type of pants people choose to have in their wardrobe. Wide and baggy pants. You name it. Cargo pants, jeans, trousers, dress pants, sweatpants, parachute pants, balloon pants. All of these pants that people chose to wear this year are baggy in nature. Even myself, I haven't worn anything close to slim fitting pants this year. There's just something appealing about wearing wide pants that drape over your shoes besides the comfort of not feeling constricted. Also, the beauty of wearing baggy pants is that it can highlight your proportions if done right, making your outfits look more soothing and compelling. An honorary mention that falls in the category of wide baggy bottoms that I have noticed this year are skirts. It is pleasant to see something like this in streetwear as it's really something I have never seen before. Next up are jorts or jean shorts. Though jorts have been around since, it propelled back to mainstream fashion in 2022 and this year. I personally found myself reaching for jorts over the course of the summer as it just really looks nice especially when paired with low profile sneakers such as the Samba or Mexico 66. Another appealing aspect of jorts is you can get it for dirt cheap. Either you have an old pair of jeans you no longer use or get one from the thrift store and chop it up and now you have jorts. Now moving to tops, crop shirts and tees have exploded in popularity this year. Gone are the days when crop tops are only meant for the ladies. 2023 is the year for crop tops for both men and women. And I personally found myself cropping a ton of my tees and shirts in my wardrobe to achieve the crop look of the top. Personally, this is a great look because as I mentioned earlier, wearing baggy pants can highlight your proportions if done right and pairing crop tops with this type of pants it does make your proportions look right achieving a look pleasing to the eye and with different brands taking their own different takes on crop top pieces i see this trend moving to 2024 as well vests are yet another strong trend this year vests are great layering or standalone pieces that got a lot of attention in 2023 i honestly did not expect vests to become a staple piece it is such a basic piece that you would normally wear as loungewear or to the gym but people have found ways to make it look elegant and stylish and i am definitely happy to see it become mainstream as it makes it easy for everyone to join a trend that is really accessible without having to spend a fortune. Carabiners, I think, are the must-have accessory in 2023. It does not only look good when worn, it also is very highly functional. And I like it when there's an accessory that is not worn only for looks but also serves a purpose. I associated seeing carabiners with dads as my old man himself always has his carabiners on his belt loop with his car keys. But in 2023, I guess it's not just dads wearing carabiners but everyone including myself. Crossbody bags are not new at all. And quite frankly, these bags have been around since the dawn of time. But this year, huge cross or messenger bags are a go-to accessory for everyone. Back in 2021, tote bags are the it bags for everyone. Not that tote bags are no longer a thing in 2023, but there's just something about big crossbody bags that complement the outfit. Besides the amazing look it brings, like the carabiners, it is highly functional as well. This next trend is not anything specific, rather it is a brand that I found to be a major key player in streetwear and in people's outfits this year. This might be a little biased coming from me because I am very very into Stussy pieces as of late. And I do not know if it's just me, but the fact of the matter is, the majority of Stussy's pieces sell out quickly during the drop. And when I was in Stussy, Vancouver, there was always a lineup outside the store with a lot of people waiting. And mind you, this was on a Monday as well, which I think is not usually the busiest time for any clothing store, but I could be totally wrong. But yeah, Stussy has been killing the game lately and has been making some amazing collaborations recently with big name brands such as Nike and Beats. Last trend on this list that I find to be ubiquitous in 2023 is the modern minimalist approach toward fashion. I find that this type of fashion is where streetwear meets minimal fashion such as wearing loafers with baggy jeans or wearing vests with trousers or dress pants and pairing it with sneakers such as the Samba. And this approach towards styling has been adopted by many thanks to the influence of fashion's biggest inspiration such as Hailey Bieber. This is not to say that this trend was all because of Hailey or this type of styling was pioneered only this year. 
but rather this type of fashion is a result of fashion evolving with people's taste in fashion, maturing and shifting, just as I have mentioned earlier when talking about loafers. In addition, the mass adoption of modern minimalism in fashion may have originated with people's interest in modern and minimalist interior design and spaces that has translated to their wardrobes. That last statement was a bold claim for me, but I would love to have a conversation about it with you guys as what do you guys think about it. I feel personally that my taste in clothing is also somehow inspired by my recent interests in spaces and modern architecture. Anyhow, that's a wrap for 2023's fashion trends. What other trends this year do you think should have been included? And what are on this list that you think should have not been included? Let me know in the comments below. Also, what do you think will be 2024's biggest trends? And among the things that I spoke about on this video, which do you think will continue to trend in 2024? Anyways, guys, if you have made it this far into the video, thank you for tuning in and I appreciate you all for rocking with me this year. I'm truly blessed and grateful to have your support. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And until next time, stay safe, stay fitted, peace.